Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jordan from JDLeo Experts, and this is part two of our three-part Christmas special. Um, our bonus video is coming soon. Uh, I haven't checked for any comments yet, but I will after this video. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about heating. And just before we start, I just want to say that um, we're going to be starting a whole new playlist. Uh, it's it's going to be ten-minute videos on the one on one simple care needs. So we're going to have 10 minutes on tanks up, 10 minutes on heating, 10 minutes on shedding, stuff like that. And we're going to make it a playlist. And when we're done with the playlist, we're going to set another one up. And it's going to be something different from what we just talked about. It's probably going to be a bunch of new information. And then we're going to start up another playlist. And it's going to be like website updates, Facebook page updates, all that stuff. Now I've I don't know if it's the Christmas special or another video that I've uploaded or some, one of Dawson's videos, but we've get we've gotten a few more likes on our Facebook page. Um, we have a few more subscribers and a lot of more viewers, and I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm pretty hyped about that. So, like I said, this is gonna be on heating, and after this video is done, I want to go check out your comments or your answers for the contest, and. Yeah, so uh, the, for the contest, for those who don't remember or never seen <laughs> or never seen part one um, or skipped ahead, uh, there's a contest for who can guess what animal or mammal we're going to be doing in our bonus video at the end of the three-part Christmas special. The hints are carrots are bad for the immune system. I own it. It's a small mammal, and it comes from the Netherlands. So if you, if you didn't make all that out, just rewind the video. Um, go see my part one. It is boring. For the, part one is a little bit boring, but I hope part two and part three is gonna be a bit more fun. So I'm gonna get started with heating. So if I imagine in my other videos I told you about my heat pad, my heat lamp, and the reason I don't use heat rocks is because when your electric gecko is on the heat rock, it, the heat rock can get too high, um, too hot, I guess. And it can burn their fingers, and it hurt. It hurt them to walk, and they wouldn't know if it burnt their fingers. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't know, but they just wouldn't know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And so it's best not to have it, cause if they burn their fingers, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt when they walk and try and chase prey, and you'd have to feed them right in front of you until it heals. Um, it can be fatal. Sometimes you just gotta be crazy careful but yeah heat rocks are a uh, risk that you're gonna have to well if you'd rather heat rock um it's kind of a risk you're gonna have to take but um i don't re i don't recommend heat rocks because like i just said they could be fatal um uh heat pads and heat lamps work fine uh heat cables i've never used it um i i didn't i don't really know how good they are because i haven't really used it in anything um, I'm not sure about heat tape, but I know most breeders that keep their electric geckos in tubs for the breeding. Um, I, I know most breeders use that. Um, if you guys want to know more about uh, heat cables and heat tape, probably go to see um, David's Fine Geckos or Sasobeck 11's channel. Um, I think they, I think they use them. I'm not sure, but you guys can always check out. So I have um, what comes in an Exoterra light dome aluminum UV reflector lamp so I got a medium size I think it is heat lamp for my two tanks and it works perfectly I, it gets it to the right temperature I've never had a problem with it yet so I'm just going to show you what box comes in and what comes with it so I'm just going to take the spin here so there's the box that it comes in this is a large um, in it I get a clamp just a regular clamp, and if you're worrying worrying about this being stable or sturdy, it is. It's very hard for me to squeeze that right now. This is for the clamp as well, and then what I just dropped. Sorry about that, guys. Is the hanger? Now that's what I uh, that's what I'm using. Oh, great. And um, that's what I'm using right now. I'm using the hanger, and I just put a few screws in the. A little strip of plastic and 
drilled it into my cupboard, and it works fine. Um, there is a little tilt to it more over to this way, but um, it just has the cords pushing it. I had to move the cord. <coughs> now this is a small. Uh, since I had a cover, I just put it on the cover. This cover works great. It doesn't get too hot, and it, it generates perfect amount of heat for my um, baby leopard gecko. And I'm just going to set this camera back down. Sorry if that was a bit shaky. Um, just because the boxes were in my way. Um, now I'm going to show you the types or the um, types of light bulbs that you're going to want to get. Um, there's tons of different other, there's tons of other um, heat lamps. And these are just like a few, and these are the two that I got. But I needed something for the day. The, like for the... Um, generate heat. So I'm just going to back this up as far as I can go. That's I use that during the day. It works perfect and I usually leave that on throughout the night but I do have um, the 75 watt night heat lamp and it, it's this is pretty much designed for leopard geckos. You can, it's easy to see them at night and it generates perfect amount of heat. Now with the two heat lamps combined, and I know that this large red, um, this large Exoterra heat lamp um, goes throughout the third tank, so I'm pretty happy, and it just generates enough heat for them to eat and everything, help them digest. And the perfect temperature for left goes is 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go a little bit higher, as long as it's not over 90, and you shouldn't even be near 90, I guess. Um, 86 degrees Fahrenheit's fine too. 87. But, um, yeah. So I'm just going to move these boxes out of the way. Inside of your box, you get this little instruction manual. It just says light down. And then in it, if you need help setting up your heat lamp or you just don't know what you're doing, um, the instructions to do whatever you're doing are in there and um yeah just um that should help you out and all that the these light bulbs didn't come with the exoterra light or um heat lamp um you, you have to get them separately unless it's a package deal which i didn't have and my pets so didn't have and I don't, I don't even know i don't know if they have package deals but yeah and i know there's dual or I, I'm just gonna say dual heat lamps where it's it switches on to night like the um, my 70 watt night heat lamp will turn on like every 12 hours and the um, infrared basking spot will turn on every hour. there are 12 hours of the day then it's shut off and go on to the night heat lamp I'm sorry I'm just mixed up here but yeah it works they both work perfect so if you're looking for the right bulb um I hope I could help you there. And just to go over everything it comes with, it comes with a clamp and a hanger. And then you get this. Sorry, oops, sorry. And you get this little switch here. Where is it? And it just turns it on or off. And I I think that works good because sometimes like a sun, on a summer day, and you got your door open, your windows open. And it's it's hot in the house and stuff. You're gonna want to turn it off because you don't want that much heat in there. Just the around just around 85 degrees. So I'm at nine minutes right now. And before I go, I just want to talk about some of the stuff we got coming up next. So we're not gonna be doing live streaming because I have low FPS, which is frames per second. Um, when you're live streaming, I have to use my webcam because I don't have the correct plug-in for my camera and so yeah it's kind of sucks but um, I don't I really don't know what we do on live streaming like there's nothing really you can do with live streaming for leopard geckos but um, after we get our um, little gaming gameplay commentary channel up and running and we're into it um, we'll probably be doing some live streaming but um, Sorry. So um, please check out our Facebook page and visit our website at JD Leo's. 
and um, thanks for watching.